Hello and welcome back. Right, we have got... yes. Let's get this going. Can't go very far, but already did the course. Of course, seven. Let's have a look. Have we got one for Harvester? CP2. Central Field 4.1. We have indeed. Good job we understand my own shorthand. Current load activate. Nearest first go. Right, smash it. We will get this harvested. I would then like to speed time up. We shall see what we've got in our production. What actually, how we finally ca cashed out and went out of this let's play. Really, yeah, how we. So, ooh, got digest as well. Ah, that's right. Yes, we do need to go and grab dinner. Did I buy? Let me have a look. I can't remember if I bought or I said I bought. Ah, I did, yes. So, is that over here or did I leave it over at the store? That is the question. I think the store. I'm sure that's where I finished last time, isn't it? It is indeed. Right, okay. So then, we are going to grab the... Yeah, we are, and we shall, other oh, oh, thing, we shall go grab the trailer, and we'll take that onto the field. Oh, we've got some wood as well, that's right, we have indeed, right. We've got a fantastic lineup on this uh, Let's Play, it's just, it's always typical. The Let's Plays that you do is, uh, where, it, I won't say it doesn't matter, it always matters. It's obviously makes the game easier or harder, but yeah, the games, you always get fantastic drops on like in the sale items and things like that on a let's play that you don't intend to stay on for a long time where you're trying to show off the map I don't think there is any better way and I truly do I just posted a Riverside Farm um, literally only posted yesterday I sort of thought like that it looks a fantastic map let's have a go at that and I did and it, yeah it highlights a few things how beautiful the map is and, and all that type of thing but also a couple of things that I thought, yeah, um, no, it, it sounds critical, that, isn't it? I'm not trying to be critical. Um, coming from the Peak District, it's a beautiful, it's set in a place similar to the Peak District where it's beautiful, it really is. Um, and there was, almost, ma most map makers usually do a, a crisscross of, um, yeah, Estancio Sao Carlos is a prime example, a map that I, yeah, was on recently. It not not one of the most unsuccessful let's plays I've ever done, but it's had a crisscross of tracks and that that leads Sussex Farm. Most maps, um, most of yeah, Carmston, uh, yeah, one of my absolute fam favourite FS22 maps that has got a crisscross of tracks leading in between. The one thing I am going to say is that doesn't have that, it really doesn't, and I thought it was let down by that because I did a contract, again it was only released yesterday, but again this is, coming from Britain, it is the one thing I am going to say that nearly all British, you now I've lived in many areas and nearly all of them have these crisscrossy little tiny tracks that lead from one place to another, so I'm not being unreasonable, but there aren't any. Now I do realise the map maker said you can do make what you like so you could technically chop hedges to pieces but yeah if you're trying to create a believable let's play that's a little bit eh, I mean I did do it in one place because it, it was driving me crazy and taking way too long but I could have done it all over the map but then it's yeah where's the realism in that you don't really go across farmers fields unless it's your own chopping holes in hedges unless you were yeah sick to death of driving around a map that was absolutely humongous that took you hours to actually get there then yes I think that's what I pretty much did with that field to cut a massive loop off in the end <laughs> looking back in editing I could see I was getting a little bit a uh, little bit fraught around the things because of how long it was taking me to take the bales to the BGA so yeah it's yeah <laughs> yeah but again the map itself is beautiful, but it is that 
I, I would not. Uh, it highlights the map. When you, someone does a map review, then that doesn't highlight things like that. That when you start to play it, that you can see things that are a little bit more... Point things out. A, f a fundamental flaw, or a, a, in your opinion. In your opinion. Now, I'm just going to say that, because it is true. We're all entitled to our opinion. My life, what on earth is that? Right. Okay. Well, that is likely to be the very last haul of wood we do on this map. Because this is probably going to be my final session, if I'm honest. Yeah, I've got way too many little tiny nuclear let's plays on the go. Because there are such fantastic maps coming out there. But this this is one that I have no, no flaw, no critique against it. It's a fantastic map. It really is in the spirit of Carmelands, No Man's Land um, logging. But again, not serious logging. It's not It's not intense. It is land that's going to be cleared quite easily to create fields. It is fantastic. The sky's the limit. You can do what you like with it. I love it. This is my type of... Uh, also, I've tried to incorporate the thing of distances between hence that I... Yeah, other than a mechanics error I've never done the in fact I don't you know have I I think I've always gone to the shop on this one to try and highlight the fact that if you were where we are in this that uh oh no she's nearly there. Oh I didn't mean to do that I meant to jump in. Sorry better you were doing a cracking job honest. I don't know. Yeah so again I'm not trying to have a go, though, of course, critique always is taken as criticism. And in a way, it is, but it's not. It's an opinion. It is based upon other maps to compare to. And also areas, British, it's a fictional British map. Then in Britain, it does tend to be the norm that in almost all areas, there is a crisscross of little tiny paths that lead off the main roads. And on this, that's the only thing I'm going to say. There wasn't that so therefore you have to follow the main loop and the BGA was to cross the other side of the map which takes and it's it's it is a very um, the roads are very realistically it's a hilly very twisty turny so it's a challenging map so when you've got to run three sets of bales all the way around the other side of the map and that takes 20 real minutes time that's that's an hour just traveling and also now when you're getting tired, it was a quite a long session, so again, I always think most of us come on Farmer Simulator for a bit of bit of fun, um, to see growth. If you're a content creator, you're trying to please other people, trying to sort of show, highlight things, highlight the map, highlight mods, um, yeah. It really is about sort of showcasing. I mean, I always in my Let's Plays try to showcase things like this fantastic trailer. Note it's got no icon on the back at the minute. Where we put Digest 8 on, it has the icon on the back or the back and the front, depending on what you choose. I love this, it's a fantastic community, and yeah, I'm trying to highlight the mods. Always do try to, I do have some mods that I use in almost every Let's Play, and then I have some mods which are new, and I try to engage in starting doing start from scratch as I tend to go for modern tractors more than anything because of the money that I always have I can't usually afford my favorites like Fenz 1100 because it's well out of my price range on the money that I usually have on a let's play unless it's a long-term let's play so far in FS22 I haven't had my um, yeah my longest um, popular Let's play that I would say was my number one is the old stream farm, which unfortunately is losing interest. It really is. Um, two or three episodes ago, it had hundreds. Now it's got a few, forty, which is still a respectable number. But in comparison to the four hundred and five hundred it had two or three episodes ago, I draw my own conclusions from that. Um, the move of the farm from the top area to the bottom, maybe, maybe, perhaps that. But it, yeah, it is possible, but. Nobody left any comments because, as I said, it was only a temporary move to do one thing to establish us. I thought that the growth was very slow on the old street farm because I'd gone for um, hard economy rather than normal 
That's something I tend to, I'm wishing to remedy, uh, so that you can see a little bit more growth. It was quite torturous, it took every trick in my playbook to try to get growth going on that, because it was hard, the fields were hard, and yeah, it was good, it was interesting, but yeah, it's... It's, it's such a shame because I thought there was a lot of um, traction left on that but I always go with what the viewers when the viewers say ah, my hobo is hollow which is one of my most popular which was again a bit like this was just originally made because I really did love that map it's absolutely I still do I don't mean that in a past tense but yeah I, I really fancied to go on that I had to go on it fell in love with it and the subscribers still are loving that particular map and that particular let's play so yeah while the interest is there I'm going to be knocking out some uh, content I truly am you do always wonder as a content creator what made people lose interest was it the fact that the people were sick to death of now then yes I do need to Right, let's see. Yeah, I think it, many content. I remember seeing Mr. Sealy P, one of my favorite. Well, he is my favorite. There's no good. Let's not. <laughs> let's say how he is. Yeah, uh, Lipinki on FS19. Oh, what on earth? What on earth? Oh, I know what I'm doing. 4.1 meters. It is the same as that, but it's it was a double tools for the planting. <laughs> Very interesting. Wow, that's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> we should have to correct this. A very interesting pattern. Oh my life. Well, I didn't really expect this. you know I think I'm probably better to make a room for it I do a little bit of damage I'm, I am ripping part of the field I can see that yeah I know I want to do damage but rather do one set of damage than lots of little tiny bits that add up right <sighs> do you know seriously So we're going to have to tweak this. In fact, you know, I think I feel a time lapse coming on where I manually correct this. I do, truthfully. So I'm going to say my words. I'll fix this and then we shall get the harvest in. We shall push time on until we sell this in November. Let me just remind myself, what else, what other crops did we pull in? Wheat, that's right and wheat is best sold in December the month after canola right okay we shall right I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side
That's two Let's Plays now. That's appeared. With that yesterday, that appeared in Riverside as well. Ooh. Now, I would be buying that if we were staying. That's an absolutely amazing price for that. Nine metres for 37,000. Cool, that is amazing. Well, September, we want November. October last sleep and we shall see where we are selling our canola and how much we got I didn't properly look wow that energy is amazing it really is Right. Oh, wow. Oh my life. Look at this, the the uh, digestate. That's phenomenal. I don't get why the straw's not. It's at hundred eighty-seven thousand. That's not gone wrong, has it? I'm sure, that's not going down. Right. Anyway. 23 tons and where is the best price Pioneer Terminal 01 let's tag that and we shall look on the map ooh right next to the shop ok then we should do this manually Absolutely amazing. Right, let's run that over. And all we've got to do is our wheat and to see how much we get from the straw and also cash in the digestate. We can now afford to place the slurry yard with our partner Missy B, who has a government contract. Yeah. Now why, why am I going so slowly? This should not be too, too much for such a powerful tractor. It is a fairly flat road. Now we are picking up a bit of speed now, a little bit very gradual it is beautiful I love this the autumn especially now it's not flickering anymore right let's be careful Does that not look realistic, the water on the path? Yes, I played it on the Riverside Farm yesterday. A fictitious English map. It was. It's very beautiful, set in almost like the Peak District, which is where I hail from naturally, Derbyshire Peaks. Beautiful. And it was very reminiscent of that. Yeah, very uh, Peak District type stone houses as well. 
replace a popcorn factory and I don't think the prices are very good I'm going to have to check the price of corn because I was, I was working it out that it's five lots of popcorn each one is 200 which is a grand and I'm sure that the corn itself is selling for about that so that means you're making no profit from actually converting to popcorn which seems very ridiculous to me why would you do a production if you're not going to make any money so I'm going to double check I am right nearly there in the uh, wet patches on the floor, that's amazing. Right, just past the shop. This is not really the ideal. Yeah. Understand why I'm getting a penalty for doing crops. This new precision farming malarkey is very strange. send this back and we should jump into one of the others. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to read up on the environmental s score. I was told that bales, it's, you've got to cut the bales open with that, but I don't understand why when we are taking canola, why that would penalise us for that. That makes no sense at all, to me anyway. Right, let's jump into that and we shall have a look at how much we've still got, 187,563, wow the digestive is coming on the pace, right, sleep till tomorrow, we want to grab the wheat out, now then going to be doing two journeys. Um. Now, 
I think something's gone wrong with a straw. Now, don't get me wrong, it's very nice that we've got 187,000 every day, but I somehow think that this is yet another mod that's been affected by the recent update, because that's not going down, so we can't really know exactly how well I've done. This is ridiculous. Right, let's see. Wheat. Wheat prices. Pioneer 2. Let's have a look. I'm going to see the one that's closest to us. Now we know where that is. Where's Pioneer? <gasps> now I would take a slight hit because that is an awful long way to go that way. So that is just down the road. Now then, how much have we got? I hate it when my mouse disappears. Right. We have 45 tonnes. Okay, right. I tell you what we will do while we're waiting. We are going to place the Missy B slurry yard. Yeah, I think something's gone wrong with the straw, so we don't really know how well we have done, which is absolutely a shame. So, production, selling points. Slurry yard. I think we're going to do it like so. That is very lumpy. Oh no, what has Betty pumped into? she's bumped into it's no longer a problem yeah so I'm a little bit I really don't know now what to uh, actually do because yeah the straw seems to have got stuck at 187,000 unless it doesn't go down until it's fully down but I would have thought how much does it process a day can we try and work it out let's have a look cycles per month 2400 That still doesn't mean a lot. 2,400 of the recipe is 840. So does that mean... Mm, I haven't a clue. I really haven't. Right, so let's get this done. I'm unsure as to... Yeah, what's going on. I do love the... Uh, the diagrams. Wow, that really is bumpy. Oh, look at that, the picture at the back. Oh, and the, yeah, I do love the fact you can see it going down as well. That is amazing. Love it. See, we're getting our environmental score penalties for pretty much everything. Now then. Aha. Betty is back. Okay. Now the messaging system is yet another thing that is broken. Quite frequently yesterday workers had finished their tasks. I have noticed that it's often you get them when you jump in then all of a sudden it tells you the message but you don't get the message until you jump in with some things like faults. It does still do the bumping into thing. It's a big truck. I think it's just 40 tons ish. Oh no, oh no. Ah, okay. Wow. That, that is quite bad. 
with the trailer fill limit. That is really bad. Right, so then let's send them set destination to there. We should crack on with the slurry yard still then. While that's going. Well I'm very chuffed now. Did we take that wood? We did, yes, I thought we did. Wow. Elizabeth. Now that's not really what I meant to do. I was trying to grab Elizabeth. Oh well, we'll go for a run instead. Now then, I saw you disappear then Elizabeth. There was nowhere for you to hide and you went. It's bad. I can't believe it. But that is fully laden. Wow, the trailer for me really is bad. I'm not liking this environmental thing. I don't understand. Is that because we did it with um, not natural fertilizer? It's with. Is it that? I'm gonna have to read up. I really am. Yeah. I don't like not knowing. It really is very, very strange. Right. Let's send you there. Let's grab the next, next load. Well, I've got to be honest, we're certainly doing quite well. even with the environmental penalty. Let's have a look how much digestate have we actually got in the production. It's going down. I'm going to have to keep her eye on the uh, straw. But I'm sure that's exactly as it was last night. Stuffly going down. Wow, look 
that fill level indicator that is fantastic I do love that I really think that is absolutely amazing Wow well didn't quite think we'd do this well brilliant Andy has finished his task just set this selling and then we should pop and do that we've still got a bit more to do one more load a little bit if I re Three. Do you know if it's only like a ton I'm going to leave it, I'm not coming all the way over just for that, it just seems ridiculous we can sort of gauge it and say it's an extra 400 or whatever it is a long way to come for a little time a bit, that's what I mean room for that. Wow. sure about the straw. We'll have a look in the morning. If the straw doesn't go down we should class what it's got today as the final amount. We'll just do the digestate and then we'll leave it. We'll, we'll check. We'll do the morning. If it hasn't gone down we'll treat it as it's something's gone wrong.
sorry, I've gone quiet. I should have really gone into a time lapse for this. I did that on the old stream farm as well because it is a lot of turn and throw in. So, yeah. Not much more to do though now, really, to be honest. Just over two and then rest to a board. And we should see if that straw doesn't go down, we're going to leave it. We won't take the digestate as well if it's down to some sort of game glitch. Did we have left in the three thousand two hundred and forty? Right. One more load. We'll leave the last few little bits in. And we should just see if that straw actually ticks down at all overnight. If it doesn't, then we're leaving whatever's left in there because it's yeah, it's a game glitch rather than the truth. And that's that's well, it's not. We're not cheating because cheating would require us to do something, but it's a game glitch. So yeah. So then, it is 187.563, sleep till morning. favorite favorite but it's not the big big one but yeah that's stuck on that isn't it I make mean, I can't even see the bar going down either so that looks like something's gone wrong we will leave that right we are gonna say that we've cashed up totally then 421,195 from this let's play and yeah and that is where we're gonna leave it it is a fantastic map I've, most things are working fine. We've not had many issues with the map, which is nice to know. It's it is a beautiful map. It really is. Definitely would say, have a go. It really is a, a fantastic map. We could almost, I think, start yeah another year like that, and we could actually buy another patch of land. Eight hundred eighty-seven. He says. One million. One, one, three, yeah, yeah, four, twenty-one, no, eight hundred and forty-one. So that's yeah, eight eighty-seven would be. So, wow, so we about halfway there to buying another chunk of land. Not that we've finished, obviously, doing the one that we've got already. But I am going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this let's play. It was it was a nuclear one. It wasn't a big one, but we've done quite a bit. Shows the potential of the map. We could have done at least another another massive field, I think, on the right hand side there. And then another couple of small ones there, I think. The hills about there. So yeah, we could have still got two small fields in as well. And then the, there's a lot of trees at the end where we could also have expanded. But yeah, we, we've done very well out of this. It was a cracking thoroughly enjoyed the let's play absolutely amazing map thank you very much to the mod makers who I still have not I did look actually and yeah I have not written it down which is very silly but a massive thank you to, for all the hard work that the map maker has done for this let's play because it is absolutely fantastic it really is very no man landish but with a difference it isn't the same old same old I like it 
the uh, the trees it's easy to clear the area out which I like but obviously also brings in some income and anyway no more waffling from me I am going to say thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now <laughs>